Here's how to use Strobe 2 Player with a light pad block. Strobe 2 is a software polysynth with a library of diverse sounds crafted through realistic analog modeling and detailed synthesis. The light pad block can be used to unlock the full expressive potential of Strobe 2 Player. For this example, we are going to use Strobe 2 Player as a plugin inside Logic Pro. However, the same concept can be applied to other DAWs. To begin, connect the light pad block to the computer and then launch Rolly Dashboard. Select the Note Grid app and load it onto your light pad. Now your lightpad can be used to play and record notes in your DAW. Create a new project and load Strobe 2 Player as a new software instrument. If this is your first time using Strobe 2 Player, you can activate it by logging in with your my.roly.com credentials. Double click to enter your username and password. Let's use a bass sound that responds to Roly's five dimensions of touch, such as full mini fat bass. The description gives you tips on how to approach playing the preset. You can adjust the sound with the macro controls by using the XY pad and the three dials. You can also change the size of the strobe 2 window using magnifications under settings. Let's record a baseline. In addition to playing expressive MIDI notes, you can also use the light pad block as faders or as an XY pad to control the macro effects. To do this, return to Roly Dashboard and load the Rise Controller app. This turns the light pad block into three faders for controlling the three macros in Strobe 2 Player. Let's try recording some automation. You can also load the XYZ pad app in Roly Dashboard to control the XY parameters. Now we know how to record expressive notes as well as adjust macros using a light pad block. Have fun exploring the amazing sound library in Strobe 2 Player.